Hello, Forever Family. Welcome to webinar Building an Empire number two. Isaac, would you please confirm that you could hear me and you could see my screen? Yes, I can see you and I can hear you and I can see uh, the cover of the book. Okay, thanks a lot. So it's my pleasure to start this webinar. My name is Alex Tunitsky. I am organizer of this webinar and we are going to read, to study and implement this wonderful book, Building an Empire by Brian Garthers. So like a first time, I would like to ask continue to read, we start to stop uh, interrupted right here, my story. So Iris, would you please unmute your microphone and go ahead. So manager from New Jersey, Iris Cristobal, the most reliable manager from New Jersey. Please go ahead, Iris. Uh, good evening, everyone. Okay, I will start my story. So let me further review how my network marketing career began and blossom into something massive. In hearing my story a little more fully, hopefully you will see that having a big why for succeeding was the catalyst for big success and earning more than 10 million while in my 30s. I grew up in a family that was built around traditional values. My parents worked very hard and as I mentioned earlier, build a very large real estate company in Maryland, DC area. Growing up, I saw how hard work, hard work paid off. My father was extremely successful and my mother was able to spend time helping him while raising us as kids. We always lived in a beautiful home, had new cars, went on a nice vacations and the kids all went to private schools. I admire both my dad and mom. They work hard, provide so much for our family and were great examples of ambition. Sounds like the perfect picture that everyone would dream about, right? Well, what I have found is that there is always a price that is paid for success. Yes, we had it all, but that all included rushing to the hospital on several occasions when my father had his heart attacks caused by stress that comes from his ambitious work life. I was expected to take school seriously and not getting good grades was unacceptable. My mother was always on my case, making sure I did my homework immediately upon getting home from school. She was stickler and kind of a perfectionist. I learned from her to strive for my best and that the best was possible. I picked up the entrepreneurship spirit from my dad, watching him build a huge real estate company, start a few banks and owning lots of real estate investments gave me the belief that I could accomplish anything I desired. Becoming successful was not an option. As I always knew that I was going to be, I could be like my dad. Right out of college from Villanova University in Pennsylvania, I joined our family real estate company in Maryland in 1992. I worked hard from the start and made rookie of the year in my home county. I loved the idea of building my business and developing my customer base. By the time I was 25 years old, I made it to the 100,000 mark. That was exhilarating. It was the result of around the clock effort and determined ambition. But was I paying high price for high income? In a few years, few years I would discover that I was. My older brother beat my dad's mark of having his first heart attack at 32 by doing so at 31 years of age. At that time, I was 30, and thankfully I was already well on my way down a different path that may have spared me from sacrificing my health for my success. After all, what is good fortune without health? 
1994, a friend from Villanova introduced me to the network marketing. He called to tell me that someone from our class was working in a company that pays residual income and wanted to share a business opportunity with me. I told him I was too busy and not interested. He persisted and called me a few more times until I agreed to meet with them. He drove up in a new Mercedes and I was surely impressed at age 24. That was when I discovered the power of combining leverage with residual income. I joined that company and spent three and a half years in learning mode. I say this because I certainly did not earn much money, but I fell in love with the business model and I saw a system that made sense. There was much to learn about how to build this kind of business the right effective way. My path took me to another company for about a year where I really ramped up my learning and got entrenched into personal development. It was when my second company were brought, was brought out and I discovered that the right ingredients to finally hit my home run. I was ready and I ran hard. In my first month, I made 11,000. My sixth month, I made 24,000. My 12th month, I made 42,000 for a total of 248,000 in my first year. I surpassed a 500,000 a year within three years. A few, late, few years later, eclipsed the seven figure mark and have continued to watch it grow from there. My team had grown more than 300,000 distributors in the first years. Most important though, I have watched assisted more than 1,000 people retire from their jobs due to this company. And my team, as of writing, has been paid in excess of 300 million in commissions. My network marketing business has enabled me to experience success in many forms. Upon earning my first million in two and a half years, I brought my million dollar dream home in Maryland at the age of 30. The home had a gym, movie theater, spa, billiard room, and huge deck for entertaining. Later that year, I bought my red Ferrari 355 Spider convertible dream car. A few years later, I bought property on the most beautiful tip of North Caicos Island in Turks and Caicos in the Caribbean. Then there was the Lincoln Navigator, the Porsche, and even a brand new Bentley GT convertible. I still cannot believe that there is a $240,000 car in my garage. I'm able to spend time as a stay home dad for my amazing son. I go on his field trips, take him to Disney and to the islands. I now give to charities each year in excess of what I used to make in real estate. But the thing that inspired me the most is, is seeing the life changes happening for so many wonderful people on the team who are working together towards their goals and achieving them. So it allows me to look back at many naysayers who chastised me and scoffed that I was getting into one of those things. And with pride knowing that my judgment was spot on. The best revenge is massive success. I do not fault anyone for how they have been conditioned and programmed in their entire lives. Most people who speak poorly about the network marketing profession simply do not understand the business. They cannot get beyond the notion that they were sown into them by previous generations or by the stories of pyramid schemes that someone three people removed from them lost their investment in most likely they join and put a little effort into it then quit. Sure, over the years, some unscrupulous evildoers have created ways to scam people using schemes like look like network marketing and have soured the taste buds of many towards the business model. But that is not the norm. And it is unfortunate that it caused some people to throw the proverbial baby out with the bath water. There is good reason why billionaires such as Warren Buffet and Donald Trump own network marketing companies. The model makes perfect sense. Pay people commissions for selling a product or service directly to the consumer. 
Nobody has an issue with that. When a real estate broker gets an override commission or a piece of commission, when one of his or her real estate agent sells a house, nobody has an issue with that either. So when you combine these two models, what do you get? An ingenious way to motivate a sales force to grow itself and move product faster and more efficiently to the end consumers. Instead of the company spending all the money advertising, hiring, and training more salespeople, they let the existing reps find a new salespeople to hire and train for them. Brilliant. It's the far most cost-efficient pipeline in business today. The reason is that the word of mouth endorsement from someone you know influences people five times more profoundly than seeing an advertisement online or on TV, television. When a company sets their model up correctly, it's a triple win, win, win. The company's cost of sale is low, which increases profitability. The customer wins by getting a great product at lower price than from stores that have more marketing costs and benefits provided to hire and retain employees. And the marketer, network marketer, wins by creating an income from recommending the product or service and teaching others how to effectively do so as well. The trend has grown year over year in companies electing to adopt this marketing strategy, including some of the biggest billion dollar conglomerates in the world. Iris, thank you very much for your reading. Take a break and I would like to ask Isaac to continue. Thank you, Iris. Good evening, everybody. So why did I choose the network marketing model as a career path for me? Why did I decide to walk away from a very promising real estate career with our family business to build my network marketing business from home. I want to explain because I think it will resonate with you. I knew many people who have time and no money and they are unhappy. I knew many who have money and no time and they are unhappy. I knew few who have both time and money together, which creates true, free, true freedom. That was what I was after. In real estate, I felt like I would never be able to let up of the ga uh, gas pedal to enjoy life without my income slowing down too. In the real estate business, as a broker, I would be the only one getting to benefit from leverage when the agents made sales. I felt bad that the agents were all on perpetual treadmill with the one broker getting the chance to earn from other people's efforts. So if I recruited an agent to come work for us selling houses, I was simply helping them onto the treadmill. That didn't sit well with me, especially now that I knew for a better way. I was also attracted to the promise of residual income in network marketing. In real estate, we're only as good as our next sale. We wake up every single morning unemployed until our next sale. Once a house is sold, it's back to first and then, and uh, first and then, all over again. When would this ever end? There is no residual. In network marketing, I love the idea that I could sign up a customer one time, yet get paid a commission on that sale month after month for the life of the customer. I met people in my current company who had signed up customers one time back in the 1970s and 80s. They're still getting paid residuals today, decades later. Why residual income is so important. I have said for years and most people just don't understand what residual income really is. 
this term gets lost around quite a bit, tossed around quite a bit. But if you actually have it, I would rather have 100,000 a year of residual income coming in a year after year, passively, than 250,000 a year that I have to slave away for every day. The money you have to keep chasing will stop when you stop. And eventually you will stop. Residual income is money that you keep receiving on a continual basis after doing something one time. I call it Elvis Presley money because Elvis estate is still receiving residuals today on songs he recorded and movies he appeared in from 40 years ago. He's still one of the top income earners in the country decades after he passed. That is residual income. There are a few ways to create residual income for yourself. Be a music recording artist, write best-selling novels, be a famous actor, sell insurance, buy and rent real estate, build a network marketing business that has a recurring subs subscription model. For the first three, the odds are stacked against you and me. I can't sing, I don't want to write fiction, and acting is not going to work out for me. I could sell insurance, but man, so much competition, not to mention a very grueling career grinding out sales. Let's compare the last two options. Assume you desire is, your desire is to create 2000 a month in residual cash flow. Here is what it will take using these options. Real estate investment. If you buy a home with a mortgage of 250,000 and your monthly payment is $1,500, let's assume you can rent this home out for 2,000 a month. This gives you a $500 month gross residual income before taking out any expenses like repairs, commissions, advertising, etc., which adds up. So you would need to take out 100, 1 million in loans to buy four houses to generate to generate 200, 200, uh, 2000 thousand two thousand month gross. Network marketing. Join a company you believe has a great product service for less than $500 one-time fee. Recruit five others and teach them to duplicate just two times, five plus 25 plus 125. You now have a team of 155 people marketing that product service that you are getting paid on. In just about any marketing, a network marketing company, comp plan that is designed properly, you should be generating 2000 a month in income from the sales made by your team. So not only is this income passive, sales made by others and not you, but if the company has a model where you sign up a customer one time and they keep making payments every month without having to re uh, repeatedly make another sale to them, you have true residual income. So we're talking about an investment of less than $500 and some part-time sweet equity and there is no limit to how big your residual can grow. Few have the ability to invest a fortune in real estate to create this, but anyone can do it using the network marketing business model using leverage. Let me explain the concept of leverage using the following diagram. You, five hours equal five hours, five recruits, times five hours equals 25 hours. 25 recruits times five hours equals 125 hours. Total 155 hours. You are getting paid for as the result of leverage. Are you are willing to, care, uh, to carve out five hours a week to build your network marketing business? Now, 
let's help you recruit five people who are also willing to do the same. Five times five hours equals 25 hours. And we will help those five each recruit five more. 25 times five equals 125 hours. So you now have you, so you now have you plus 30 others, each working five hours per week. So you are getting paid on 155 men hours per week. Yet you are still only putting in five hours a week yourself. This is called leverage. Getting paid on the efforts of more than just your own. Billionaire Paul Getty once said, I'd rather get paid 1% of the effort of 100 people than getting paid 100% of just my own effort. Will it be worth it to you, me re readers who have likely started down your path of building a business in network marketing? I must address the inevitable. You will often question whether the juice will be worth the squeeze. I wish I had counted the times over the last 17 years that I, I felt like quitting. When I first got into this industry, it, it looked so simple, easy, and exciting. I had no idea that I was going to go through an amazing amount of personal growth and development. I wasn't expecting so many people to tell me no, and so many of those who joined me would soon quit. The challenge lies in the setting of expectations. If we are prepared ahead of time for such challenges, we will be ready for them when they come. And we will know exactly why they will come and therefore lessen their impact on us. Hold on for a second, Isaac, please. I would like to emphasize this is a crucial, I don't know why I missed it two times, I already read it, that's another example that this real this book should be read it over and over again because i had no idea that i was going to go through an amazing amount of a personal growth and development i was not expecting so many people to tell me no and so many of those who joined me would soon quit the challenge lies in the setting of expectation. Let me highlight it. Just give me a second, please. Sure. Because it's really valuable. Setting of expectation and many, many people who join forever expect to be a million, millionaire like a next week or month or year. That's a key. That's a key to sponsor, to provide valuable information to prospect and help them expect not to be a millionaire pretty soon. Very valuable, everything is very valuable. Well, Isaac, please go ahead. Thank you. A great analogy for this is when Mormon churches send out young men on missionary work to knock on doors to spread their message. If the kids were just told to go out and spread the word without warning them, what they will likely encounter and why the first time a door is slammed in their face or mean-spirited language was spoken to them, they would likely give up and quit. Since the church knows that these kids need to be prepared for such an onslaught of belittling obstacles, they do something very brilliant. They bring the youth into inoculate, they bring the youth in to inoculate them before sending them out, letting them know to expect the slam doors and the hateful things they will be told. More importantly, they are told why these people will do such things. Now that the youth mean men expect such re rejection, when they encounter it, it doesn't deflate them. They expect it and grasp it. 
it allows them to push through and keep going forward. Are you- I'm are sorry you, for interruption, please. Again, I just would like to emphasize very valuable part of this page that they expect to be rejected. That's why, that's why I think one of the book go for no with the, for network marketing is the key to our success. Not expect to get yes as soon as possible, but expect to get as many no as possible. Then we will get a yes automatically. Please go ahead, Isaac. Are your reasons for succeeding in your business bigger than the pain of enduring rejection and the growing pains? Why are you doing this business in the first place? I like to say, if your why is strong enough, you will stick around long enough and endure all that you must to learn how to succeed. So what is your why? Your why isn't just about money, but rather than will the money do in your life once you get it. If you had 10, 10 million right now, what would it be most immediate things you would do? Some say they would quit their job and spend more time with their family. Some would start a charity. Some would retire their parents or build them a new home. Some would build their dream home or travel the world. Some would finally follow their passion and write music or pen a book. Write down your why here. If you say you are doing this for your kids, which is stronger, your desire to avoid some noise or your love for your kids. How many people telling you no will cause you to quit and not give your kids their parents back? If you want to retire your parents, how many no's will make you say, I've had enough. My parents can just keep on working. You see, when your why is incredibly strong, it will give you the will to withstand much more than you can possibly imagine. Most people who quit on their network marketing business do, do so because they never truly reconnect with their purpose. They why in the first place. Quitters Let's never win. Sorry, Isaac, hold on for a second. I want to come back. I'm sorry, please hold your horses. I want to come back right here. Write down your why here. And I would like to open discussion right now with everybody who would like to participate and share your why did you join Forever Living Product? Um, well, if I started, let me share with you my why. Why I joined Forever in March will be 17 years. Very simple, at that time in March 2004, when I made the decision to join, to me personally, it was money, 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 and money. Why? Because I was out of work, I was on the beach for a long, long time, and I was looking for a job. And finally, I made a decision I would to join forever. And all of you who know my story, you might not remember very specific details that prior to make the final decision to join forever, I got an offer from a consultant company. An offer was about, I don't remember now, 45 or $50 per hour. Everybody who knows what does it mean, it's a big money. Everybody who works as a consultant, Isaac know for sure. Isaac, how much is it yearly income if you got 45 or $50 per hour? $50 per hour is 120,000 a year. 100, I calculated like twice, you have to multiply twice. So it was big amount of money. Then, but I made a decision already. And when I took this offer down, the agency called me and they decided that I am crazy. How can you turn it out over like that? But I saw the potential. I've got no clue, the same as Brian, how much knows I would get 
to accomplish any level of success. So, but this why move me forward because I saw the potential with Forever Living products. Isaac, your microphone is un unmuted. Why did you join Forever? Do you mind if I ask you? And anybody next, please raise your hand and I will unmute or unmute your microphone yourself and speak up. And only volunteers only. So you volunteered me? Yes, I did. I do volunteer you, Isaac. Go. Your microphone is unmuted. Go ahead. Uh, well, my reason may be not uh, big or grandeur. I was curious. I joy. I this forever forever uh, living company was not my first uh, network marketing company, and uh, I joined it before. And I was curious, what is it? Uh, what is it about? And um, I do believe in this model. I do believe in this model. I do believe that uh, leveraging is the the way. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not doing much about it. Unfortunately, but I'm still I'm still active. I'm still using the product. I'm still uh, uh, attending webinars like this one. So I'm not I'm not uh, quitting yet. Probably never. So <laughs> I ke I keep moving. Okay, thanks a lot. Iris, you're next. Unmute yourself and speak up. Hello, okay. First I joined because my husband joined. <laughs> so he probably saw something in it. And um, as I unravel the potential and from the products to the personal development, to the friends that I meet and the growth that I become, with this one, I my my why keeps changing, but the, my why is not only for money, but especially with this book. What I what I like is he already has all the money, but I would personally like to see the changes that it brings to other people, where they 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 change their life through the connection that I have with this work, network marketing. So, but the life change that um, network marketing brings is just, you cannot contain it because it's, it's, it doesn't have any boundaries. It doesn't have any limitations. So that's, that's just amazing to this. Okay, thanks a lot, Iris. Helen, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Helen oh, Wilson, manager from Brooklyn. Go ahead. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Iris just said wonderful words because I personally, I'm so grateful to Alex when I saw that presentation about what Allah does to our body. Something clicked in my head and I told myself, wow, this is the key ingredient. How I, you could help, like, you know, the continue helping people and uh, because my point was like about, it's about, it was about health and helping people. But what we are doing, we influence people with whatever we say, do, show. And uh, people change. And uh, uh, when we speak with people, when we train them to, to make steps in forever business in helping people, they get changed and they are so grateful because it's like a, a chain reaction. Uh, people are grateful because we were grateful to somebody else and it feeds me and it uh, helps me to keep going. And uh, it's a wonderful life because we need to fulfill our life with something besides money because not uh, money is not, uh, our life is about changing the world, maybe ourselves. And uh, of course it makes us stronger. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Anybody else? I didn't see any hands. Isaac, please continue. Okay. Quitters never win. Winners never quit. They finish what they start. I will until. I wrote this on my wall in my home office. Your network marketing business versus your job. When speaking at major events across the country through the years, 
I often ask the audience, whatever you do right now for a living, if you were the Michael Jordan of your profession, if you were the very best at doing that job and you do it better than anyone else out there for the next 20 years, how many of you will you able will be able to retire at the end of those 20 years with your dream lifestyle? I look around and rarely does a single hand go up. I follow up with, so what you are telling me is that there is no chance that your job will ever provide you with the lifestyle you dream about. Even if you were the very best at it, you still won't achieve your dream in 20 years, yet you still give that job eight, 10 hours every day going down that road, knowing there is no light at the end of the tunnel. And the looks on their faces are always of enlightenment mixed with dismay. Then I ask, on the other hand, if you hit the top level in our network marketing business, and you are making a quarter million dollars a year or more passively, and you have time freedom to call your own shots and live life of, on your own terms, how many of you feel that you could live the life you dream about? And without fail, every hand goes up. I iterate, so your job does not even offer the chance to live your dreams, but this business does. Remember this always, remember this always. So why would you ever think your job is more important in your life than your own network marketing business? Now, I'm not recommending that you run and quit your job tomorrow. Of course not. Keep your job and earn your living during those hours while in your off hour, you build your, your fortune. Down the road, you may find that your part-time business income eclipses what you make at your job. At that point, you have options. Awareness is key. I hope that many people are programmed by society to believe that having a job is noble and that working a hard day for someone else is responsible. Most people I know do not feel like the work they do at their job is in alignment with their purpose or their passion in life. They feel unhappy, stressed out, underpaid, underappreciated, tired and fatigued. The reason is because as human, we all seek congruence. When the things we are passionate about and want out of life are not connected to the work that we do, we have a sense of brokenness. We're not congruent. So now that you know what your why is, and you know what your job cannot provide it, but your network marketing business can, how will this change your life? Bethany, hold on, how Isaac. Hold on, hold on, Isaac. First of all, Take a break. Thank you, my friend and partner and supervisor from Brooklyn. And I would like to ask Helen, OSIPO manager from Brooklyn, to continue. Thank you, Isaac, again. Helen, please unmute your microphone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bethany Hamilton, the 13-year-old whole story of losing her arm in a shark attack while surfing, surfing was the basis for the hit movie uh, Soul Surface, Surfer, had the kind of mindset that all networkers need to adopt. After the attack, she told her father she wanted to compete in surfing again without her arm. Her father said, it won't be easy. And her response was, I don't want easy, just possible. The good news, ultimate success and your dream lifestyle are possible with your network marketing business. Success in this business will take sacrifice. 
freedom is not free. Everyone who is very successful and living at the mountain, uh, mountain top has paid a hefty price to get there. Since most people are still working a full-time job and building their business part-time in the evenings and weekends, those hours are now your most valuable commodity. Prior to starting your business, those were your slacking hours to play and have fun. But now you have a different outlook. You will have to borrow from your bowling night or your movie night or your football games to invest that time into what is going to make your life better. If you only have four hours a week to devote, then you must devise a strategy to make those four hours count. They must be the most productive, passion-charged hours of your entire week. Belief is a critical factor in, your, in our ability to remain excited and passionate about our business. This belief is what is going to attract others whom we are trying to recruit. Belief in the company, the product, the upline, the opportunity, and yourself. If you do not have 100% belief in the company and product you, cho you choose, then it is a time for an immediate assessment. Of course, no company or product will be perfect, but you still must believe that the company is strong, financially sound, and has your best interest at heart. The product service must be something that you would buy even if you were not in the business of selling it. You must be convinced that there are plenty of examples of distributors succeeding in the business to warrant your belief that if they can do it, I can do it too. The compensation plan needs to be balanced in that it pays well for those just getting started as well as the rewards for those who reach the top being worth the effort. Does your apply know what they are doing? And are they effective at teaching others to accomplish their goals? We all need to believe in the persons we are following. Do they have integrity, work ethic, and are they worthy of modeling? Are they accessible to you? Search apply until you find the right person to follow. They lead us to self-belief. Do you believe that you deserve success? Do you feel that you are willing to learn what you do not know? Do you expect that with the right coaching, you can make it to the top of your company? Confidence is key and it cannot exist without being born from belief in all five components. The company, product, upline, and comp plan are all fixed constant, constant, constants in your business that you cannot change. The difference between those who succeed in your company and those who don't is the you factor. That is what this book is about. We're going to empower you to be the ultimate network marketer. You are going to take the same four constants and set some new records in your company. We have to work on you. The, lear the learning curve. When you first start your business, your knowledge is low and your anxiety is likely high. This is not a very good mix, but it is expected. This is not a get rich quick scheme or lottery. This is a business and it will take some time to learn it. This learning curves time frame will be different from for everyone. You can shorten the curve by compressing the learning activity faster. Attending more training classes offered by top earners in your company, reading books like this one, listening to con conference calls and CDs, all of this will help. Just remember 
that an hour in the field is worth 20 hours in the classroom. We all have to be in classroom mode some of the time, but unless we go into the real world to try and apply it, nothing will happen. After coaching countless people at this point, one thing is clear. People love to try to build their business their way, their own way. They come to the business with skill sets and strategies that pertain to completely different industries. And they try to apply them to this business model. This is often met with frustration as they realize their ideas don't, don't work so well here. I was one of these people too. Network marketing is a different animal than what they were used to. In corporate America, management has always driven business forward. In the new era and in this profession, leadership is far more important. This business is all about using tools, using a system, leveraging the help and credibility of your third party applying expert and talking everything completely off of you. Again, this is the opposite of what many expect. Salespeople think they should come in and just go do it all by themselves. This may work a little bit, but it sure doesn't duplicate. And this business is all about duplication. There are certain how-tos we need to learn in this business. Listening skills, presenting the product or service, approaching prospect to pick interest to recruit, relating to objections, motivating our team, servant leadership, training our recruits to follow the system, creating urgency and fear of loss with prospects to move them to join, time management, contact management and follow-up skills, problem solving. Well done, Helen. First of all, thank you for your reading. I believe that we should stop here because it's really valuable to review. We read a lot of and we should absorb a lot of information today. And mm -hmm. I also advise everybody to have this own book, buy it on Amazon and read it on your own and to be ready for a next chapter ahead of every time, then it would be very, very valuable discussion for us. I would encourage everybody, do not hesitate to click on the icon, raise your hand and to share what do you think. We will read a lot of stuff ahead of us. It would be very, very valuable. Of course, it's only for those people who would like to improve for our business. And we have today nine people. So I highly recommend and encourage you to invite at least two person from your team next time. Next Monday, we will read it again. And I would like to say, if you have any questions, click on the icon and I will unmute your microphone. So I don't see any icon. Uh, any any hands so i would like to say thank you to iris isaac and helen and thank you everybody who joined us today so until next time take care bye-bye bye-bye